Hello, today we want to show you how you can convert uh, one of the Stinger models, for example the Compact, to the other one, in this case the Tactical. Um, one of the really nice features of our Stinger 2 is that it's very versatile. Yeah? You can have it in a pistol configuration that's ideal for quick shooting uh, with low poundage, or you can have it in a Tactical Carbine version where you can have a more powerful limbs uh, because you have an advantage when, when cocking the weapon, you have a very stable shooting platform, so there are trade-offs and differences. And the nice thing is those two are 100% compatible. Yeah? Today we want to show you how to convert the compact to the carbine version. For that you need our conversion kit. This contains everything that you need to change that to that. Yeah? So you have One cocking assembly, you have a buttstock, a vertical foregrip, a small pin that you will need, and the tool. I have one over the outside. As with any weapon or uh, shooting device, when whenever you do anything on it, when you do maintenance work or some kind of conversion, take out all errors, then everything is safe. And the first step is to take off the magazine. Just loosen the screw in the back. And here in the front. Just standard procedure as it is described in the owner's manual. Nothing fancy. So now you can take off the magazine. And for this for this conversion, <laughs> for this conversion, I have to get the cocking system off. Here is the screw on the bottom that you have to take out. Not quite. Yeah, a bit longer. And the nut. And here you have a pin that you have to take out. Yeah. With a punch. And the hammer you don't you just slide the tabs. Until the pin is out. It's much longer than the new one. Yeah, and then you can take off the cocking system. That's it. And you replace it with the one that was supplied in the box. Just put it in. Put in the screw, put in the nut on the opposite side, and just fixate it. And there's no need to put any torque on the screw, it's just screw it tight, that's, that's the axle. So that the, um, the locking element can grab to something, you need to put the pin, the shorter now, here on this spot. Be careful, there's one side that has a crown on it and one side that's just smooth. Yeah. Put it in with the smooth side. Yeah. Take the hammer and just slightly tap it in. That's it. And now the locking element can hold to something. Uh, to put the, the cocking rods into the system, you need to take off the side plates just with the standard screwdriver. One. Two. 
two, and the one in the front. You have to do that on both sides. It's quickly done. Second one. If you look closely, there is a rim that goes here. Yeah. It is like a rail. Here it slides on this rail. Can you see that on the camera? Okay. So when I now mount it and go forward, I put those here below the rail. I put that here. spot just let it drop where is it <laughs> like the first man so and yeah right. it's not fixated in place can't get out so I'm gonna now put back the screws in This fixated. I'll do the same on the other side. Make sure that this small rim here on top is in the notch of the cocking lever. Then drop it at the right spot and fix it with one screw. Then, of course, I have to put on the other screws on both sides. Yeah. Put on the buttstock, like in the uh, video for the tactical. Put on the vertical foregrip. Put on the magazine, and I have a fully converted tactical model. That's all it takes. Just like five minutes of your time. 